diabetes, global disease burden, 536.6 million people worldwide, 1.3 million people in Australia. Diabetic complications include increased risk of cardiovascular disease, kidney failure, heart attack, stroke, nerve damage, lower limb amputation, and vision impairment. By the time a child is diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, much of their pancreatic beta cells which produce insulin are destroyed. People with diabetes rely on daily insulin injections to replace what would have been produced by their beta cells. Currently, the only treatment is islet transplantation, and while the organ transplants prove to be of clinical utility, the stark reality of donor organ shortage has limited its widespread use. In a world first, Melbourne scientists from Monash University have discovered a way that a drug may lead to the regeneration of insulin expression. Using cells isolated from the pancreas of a type 1 diabetic donor, the human epigenetics research team led by Professor Sam L. Oster were able to reawaken stem-like cells in the pancreas to re-establish insulin expression. Using a drug approved by the US FDA, the human epigenetics research team could regenerate insulin-producing cells in pancreatic tissue donated by a type 1 diabetes donor. They discovered a highly selective pharmacological inhibitor of the EZH2 methyltransferase protein dramatically influenced insulin expression in diabetic donor cells. In damaged pancreatic islets, histone H3 lysine 27 trimethylation or H3 K27ME3 functions to silence the insulin gene. EZH2 is the protein responsible for writing the H3K27ME3 mark that silences the human insulin gene. The refractory nature of the H3K27ME3 mark condenses chromatin and characterizes gene silencing that influences beta cell plasticity and insulin gene expression. In rejuvenated human islets, isolated cells derived from the pancreas were stimulated with a specific pharmacological inhibitor of EZH2. The drug effectively reduced H3K27ME3 content, thereby influencing beta cell plasticity and promoting insulin gene expression. A key advantage of this method over other beta cell replacement strategies include rapid insulin restoration, requiring several days of drug treatment as opposed to other protocols that can take several months. Also, the protocol is ethically compliant with no requirement to isolate human embryonic stem cells. And thirdly, the protocol to restore insulin expression is non-surgical.